Let's see what y'all did. Some of you wrote a definition like this and drew a picture like this. This is what I will call making a decision based on Abraham first. The outer count follows the template for processing the move made by Abraham. And inside each of the two cases, we process the move made by Nick. And in the picture, you can see that at the top, we process the choice made by Abraham. And then inside each of those two branches, we process Nick's move. That's one way to solve the problem. It's a fine way. Now, some other ones of you made this different design. This is what I would call first processing Nick's move. So in the outer count, we're following the template for processing Nick. The questions are all about Nick. And then inside each of the two cases, we have an inner count that processes Abraham's move. That's also a perfectly fine way to do it. So even when we are processing both inputs, there's a choice as to which input to process first, that's which input to process with an outer count, and which input to process second, that's in the inner count. Now, if you look at this way of doing things, where we process Nick first and then Abraham second, in one of the Nick cases where Nick steals, you can see that the count is actually not necessary because as long as Nick steals, it doesn't matter what Abraham does. Abraham's going to get zero. And that's actually the key to this particular strange game of split or steal. So in our code, we actually don't need that inner con. We could replace this inner processing with just zero because again, as long as Nick steals, it doesn't matter what Abraham does, Abraham's gonna get zero. And that's still going to pass our tests, and this actually clarifies the situation as far as what Abraham and Nick will do. Now, to be clear, if you combined the outer count with the inner counts to make one big count like this, using AND, that's perfectly fine. And if you reordered the clauses of the counts so as to avoid and, but still combine the outer count with the inner count into one big count, that's also perfectly fine. What's important is that you realize that because Abraham can make one of two moves and Nick can make one of two moves, there are two times two equals four situations that your function has to handle. Let's look at some other more interesting functions where there are two inputs and we need to process both of them. 